everyone welcome back to grow and glow today we are going to be making my version of tacos that's what we're having for dinner tonight that will be a totally different video um so yeah let's get right into it um i have a i'm gonna do it on my rice pot small enough i don't have a um bigger pot to make it in but i have about two pounds of ground beef We're going to put that in here. Put the, turning the stove on to medium high. And I'm going to start cutting up, chopping up the meat before adding any of today's seasonings. I will show you um, each seasoning individually so you can see them up close and personal and see what it is that I put into my ground beef. So I am just breaking up the meat just so that it would hurry up and, and cook. So I have some hungry people I need to feed. So the seasonings that I put in it is, I, I put about a spoonful of this, it's called sofrito. Um, Hispanic people use it a lot to make their soups, um, stews, beans, yellow rice. Basically what it is is um, green peppers, sweet peppers, onion, garlic, cilantro, um, and some spices. Um, so it's all mushed up, um, like puree type of, type of consistency. I'm sure if you can see it. Um, I also put um, some garlic powder, onion powder. I put um, adobo in it, which also is an all-purpose seasoning. Um, it doesn't replace the salt because sometimes you have to still put a little bit of salt into your food, but this too is also um, you can put it in burgers, fish, um, meats, chicken. Um, also, you can put it in some stews and soups and rice and stuff. Kind of cover this so it can start cooking. Um, I also have a little packet of sazon. This is um, like a food coloring with some spices. So kind of like a paprika. Um, but it has other spices added to it as well. And then also the, um, because it's about two pounds of meat, I put the entire envelope of the taco seasoning. I may or may not put a little bit of salt if at the end it still seems like it needs a little bit of something. Um, I might just add probably just a little bit. Um, kind of chopping my head off but I wanted you to be able to see <laughs> excuse me allergies are really bad this season and I have asthma so I cough a lot um, so let's see how everything is going it's starting to heat up in here pot holders I'm just gonna stir and stir and stir And break apart continue to start to stir and break apart I don't wait for the meat to brown to put the seasoning in because I want it to um, take all the flavors of the seasoning as it's cooking um, so I just wait just a little bit when it starts browning like it is now and I'll show you it's starting to brown a little bit so once that's this process is happening where it starts browning now I start adding all the seasonings back down so 
for the sofrito, I put about a tablespoon, a full heaping spoon of it. See how I say it's kind of like pureed or chopped or not exactly pureed, maybe chopped up. Sazón Goya. And then I just kind of, no measurements, I just kind of wing it. Sometimes as it, I don't put too much just to make sure that it's not too salty. But sometimes as it's <coughs> cooking, excuse me, you might find yourself adding a little bit more of something else. Here's my other garlic powder. Oh, I have them both here. I didn't have, didn't have the onion powder. All right, so garlic powder. Like I said, I just sprinkle it just so that it starts taking the flavor as the meat is cooking. And some onion powder. Mix it up. I wish I can get the camera. It's a little difficult trying to do this with one hand. But you get the idea. lower it to medium between four and five we have an electric stove so I put it about four or five and let it simmer for a little bit sorry about that let me put all the seasonings back on my lazy Susan or lazy something <laughs> I'll leave the salt out and we still have to put the taco seasoning in put this back in the fridge so now I'm gonna start chopping up and I won't bore you guys with all the nonsense but I'm gonna chop up the lettuce the nice red tomato I also like to put some banana peppers on mine um, it's mild it still has a little bit of a kick some fiesta cheese fiesta blend um, old El Paso taco shells and like I told everyone, for JoJo, she'll get the mild old El Paso. She doesn't like the chunkiness in her salsa, so we have that one, which is bland. But I got this one for the rest of us. It's a peach mango jalapeno sauce, medium. I'm so excited to try it. It's chunky like we like it, like the adults like. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, so everything is chopped up and ready to go. All we need to do is heat up the tortillas or the taco shells. Um, the meat is simmering. Looks good. Tastes great. And we will see you on our next video where we will be eating our tacos in the next video. So, um, thank you for coming back, my growing glowers and we will see you on the next video stay safe stay blessed Mwah. thank you for coming bye